Very truly I tell you, Pharisees, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in by some other way, is a thief and a robber. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep listen to his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes on ahead of them, and his sheep follow him because they know his voice. But they will never follow a stranger. In fact, they will run away from him because they do not recognize a stranger's voice. Jesus used this figure of speech, but the Pharisees did not understand what he was telling them. Therefore Jesus said again, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who have come before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep have not listened to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. They will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Hevenu shalom aleichem. I bring peace unto you. In the native Hebrew language of my Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, the man called Jesus Christ. I'm happy to be back recording today. It's been about a month that I've been away. I was really only banned off YouTube for one week, but it was kind of hard to get back going after they uh, stopped my momentum. I continued to stay active on other platforms, my Facebook, and uh, I, actually I got banned on on BitChute as well. Um, but praise God, I'm I'm back, and I'm not gonna stop, and I'm gonna actually try to bring to you today the video that YouTube banned me for. Um, and I'm gonna do my best to try and make it as acceptable as possible and hopefully not uh, have to be away from here for another week or two or more. So hopefully, God willing, I'll get this video uploaded, published, and it'll be able to be viewed. And I'll just give him the glory right now, praise God. And we have to do that in the good times and the bad times. It's been a difficult month for me. Uh, I've had some struggles and some difficulties, but I give God the glory in the good times and the bad times. And uh, just to give you a little uh, context into the video that I got banned for, uh, we're going to be viewing a town hall meeting where residents were voicing their opinions about mandates and other things that are being uh, demanded of them as far as the guidelines uh, handed down from uh, the CDC, uh, and as my, my, my brother in Christ, uh, David Beverly always says, always follow your CDC guidelines, but we're going to watch this video and I'm going to, uh, cut it down to a portion of the video that shows what I believe to be a wonderful and beautiful example of a child of God standing up standing up for the cross, standing up for Jesus Christ. Someone that knows that there is no other name under heaven given unto man by which we can be saved. And before we begin the video, I wanna say a prayer for my brothers and my sisters in Christ that are out there trying to spread truth in a very turbulent and troubling time. I can see your words online and I can feel your frustration in those words and I can hear your voice uh, I can tell what you're going through uh, you know what's happening and the burden of knowing and realizing that those around you are unable to see what you see it's a heavy weight on you and I just want to ask Heavenly Father when I feel the weight of the coming sorrows that others are blind to, I call on you and I ask for your perfect peace. And you've always been there to pick me up, Father. 
and I can feel the burden from my brothers and sisters in Christ right now. And I want to ask that right now, you'll fill us with your spirit to overflow and you will allow us to be a light in any darkness. And I want to praise you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' precious name, amen. that's available on the market is manufactured using a tissue. I have been praying that God himself will step in so that Christians are not forced by their employers and a mandate to get the vaccine. Yet, even if God does not, I will not bow. And with all respect, and with all respect, Governor, we love you and appreciate you, but God will not hold you guiltless if you fail to stand up for the Christians who believe it is in their right to abstain from the All the time, all the time you are good. All the time, all the time you are good. All the time, all the time you are good. You are you.